Hello there. It is Saturday. It's already menu planning Saturday. I start menu planning on Friday and then I solidify it on Saturday, you know, after I get everybody's orders and I see what we have. And when Friday rolls around and I write menu planning on my to-do list, I'm just, I'm dumbstruck. I'm just like, how are we here again? And then I go, what are we going to have? <laughs> but, um, let's get into it. Also, we're hitting that weird part of summer and light. Like, I can't go anywhere in the house that has good lighting right now because it's just so blaring and glaring and my kids are squealing like puppies out in the living room for some reason. <laughs> but okay, we have one rollover for this week and that is crock pot potato soup. And I think that's week two. But again, it's all shelf stable stuff that goes in there so I can keep rolling it without fear of anything going bad. So that's why it gets rolled. Um, and I gotta go back and look at my menu plan for what else there is. Okay, we have um, lentils, shepherd's pie or shepherd's pie lentil. It's using lentils instead of meat. We'll see if my son likes it. He usually doesn't like lentils or mashed potatoes, but we can hope and try. And I have so many lentils left from when we were going to food banks. Um, so I wanna get using on those. We have them, let's use them. Um, also fish sticks, spaghetti, and salad. Um, growing up, when my mom would make us fish sticks, um, it was always with spaghetti. And I wonder, did anybody else ever eat it? Like fish sticks and a side of spaghetti? Or is that just my house? Um, it's only my mom and I who like fish sticks. So it's a good thing we pair it with spaghetti because then my son, daughter, and husband have something to eat that night. Um, but I'm just curious if anybody else grew up with fish sticks and spaghetti. And um, pulled pork subs with chips and fruit. I have like pre-made curlies pulled pork in a container. I have a couple of those in my freezer. And um, I'm gonna plop them on some sub rolls and bake them in the oven. Easy peasy using what we have. And I gotta see if there's anything else. I can't remember. I was so close to getting them all. And the last one is chicken noodle casserole. It's like a chicken noodle soup, but no broth. Because I have frozen shredded chicken in the freezer. So I'm going to use that. This was a week of using what we have and just sprinkling in some items we need from the grocery store. Because it is tight this month. Um, I have to look back. I wonder if there was five Mondays this month. I think there was. Let's do a double check. There wasn't. But I don't think I shopped every Monday. I think I shopped on some Tuesdays. Anyway, I feel like I shopped more than four times this month. That's my point. Um, and when that happens, you know, it just gets tight towards the end of the month. And with these prices as they are, you like my hair plop. Um, with these prices as they are, uh, our grocery budget is just, it just doesn't stretch like it used to. And we are frugal, frugal people. Um, but yeah, so that's our menu. And then we have our two nights of leftovers. I try to get more if I can. Um, but yeah, that's the story. And I did a good hair plop. I'm sorry, I'm just admiring my handiwork when I came out of the shower. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm tired. I'm tired. It was one of the, it, this was a, a long week. I don't know why. Um, but I'm feeling it today and I'm daffy. I guess it's better to be daffy than cranky, right? But yeah, okay. I'm going to head out to the living room, find out why my kids sound like puppies, and um, have the rest of my Saturday with the family. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good Saturday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.